everyone. I am back with a haul. Um, I got a grab bag at the fabric store and a couple other goodies. Uh, but I didn't do a whole lot of diving this past weekend. Uh, my family and I decided to take a trip to Port Huron and we stayed at uh, a nice like campground resort type thing and it was a lot of fun. My kids each got to bring a friend and my sister-in-law and her kids and her husband came up too. So it was a lot of fun. We rented cabins side by side and the kids got to do all sorts of things. And uh, then I came back and I said, I need to go check the dumpsters. <laughs> and my husband was like, you're crazy. You just got home. I said, well, they don't wait for anybody. First come, first serve. So I got to get out there. But I, uh, I know last night was uh, the night I usually get uh, my goodies from Joann's. And sure enough, there was some goodies in there. Uh, so I'll start right there. So this box was in there. I said it didn't have a lid. So that's fine. It's just a nice little wood box. And this little like uh, ceramic pumpkin was in there. And the stem has broke off, but it was in the bag. I'm not sure. Let's see. You can see the little stem. I can just glue it right back on. I'm not sure. It looks like it was uh, glued onto something. I don't know what it was glued onto. I didn't find anything that it could have been. So, but that was in there. And if you guys remember my last haul from here, uh, there was one of these pumpkins in there and the stem was broke. And uh, there was another one in here and this time the pumpkin was broke. So I kept the stem, but the other stem for the other one was in there. So I can glue that one back on. And then there it was a whole bunch of little bits. There's like uh, buttons, a whole pack of buttons, and a whole bunch of beads, all types of beads. Uh, and these little stamps they're all there I counted there's 26 of them so every letter of the alphabet as you can see my fingers are glittery and purple because they had a there was a frosting in there and there was a frosting die in there and the frosting die was open and so it got my fingers you can see this one's worse purple and they also poured a jug of glitter in there so, but in this box, you can see all those little goodies. So I was glad to have this box. Also in there were these, they're like needles, but they're not sharp on the end. So I'm not sure, are they felting needles maybe? I'm not sure. But I ended up taking a magnet through those beads and pulling them all out of there, all that I could see anyway, all the way. All that my magnet would pick up, but I still see a few down in there that I'll have to grab. Luckily, like I said, they're not sharp. <laughs> So, and then there was some paintbrushes in there. A couple of them have a broken handle, but I can still use the paintbrush without the handle. I love finding paintbrushes. I don't find them very often. Uh, and there was a couple cookie cutters. It's a snowflake and a little whale. And then these little um, charms were in there, little heart charms. There was three of those in there. I'll stick them back in here. So this little bobbin kit was in there. Um, these are bobbins. They're for sewing. If you don't know much about sewing machines, uh, you have your big spool of thread, and then these go on the bottom. Uh, you, you spin the thread onto those, and that way you have two things of thread for your sewing machine. And this box was in there. The little latch right here was busted, so they threw it in there. And these snow, ooh, sorry, sew-on snaps were in there. Um, so I'll stick all that in my sewing stuff. So I do have a sewing machine that I do sew occasionally. Not a lot. I made fa face masks for us and I made a couple quilts and stuff. Um, but I haven't gone to town sewing because, like I said, I have a bad back and leaning over the sewing machine like that usually hurts my back. Actually, it's the cutting of the fabric that does it for me. But there was these stencils in there. Let's see if I can lay them out so where you can see them. There's that star one. I'll move it over so you can see. This one says all sorts of sayings on it. And then this one is like the sun and the moon. So those are cute. And there were these real leather crafts. I've seen the Dumpster Queen. If you don't watch her channel, you should watch her channel. She gets great hauls. But she found some of these uh, real leather 
craft things in there. I think these are little snaps. I'm not sure. So I'm going to have those. I showed you guys the needles. These little dogs were in there. They were uh, still sealed in their wrappers, so I'm not sure why they're like the little bobbleheads. I don't know. They're kind of silly looking. <laughs> uh, they, there's three of them in there. This one does bobble, but this little tutu thing is stopping them from bobbling. And then there was one of these poop cheese. They're supposed to have like a, a slime ball in there, so when you squeeze them, it looks like they're pooping. <laughs> but he's still in good shape other than he's missing his poop. <laughs> And uh, this roll of, uh, I think this is embroidery thread, was in there. That just looks like regular thread. I'm sure I could use this. It says it's damaged, so I'll check it out and see. Maybe I just have to take off a few layers. Um, this candle was in there. It smells so good. It, the glass jar was in there, but it was shattered. It's called pumpkin waffles. It smells really good, but it is really strong. So I'll probably end up giving that to my sister. Um... The first thing my son said was, it smells like Aunt Gobi's house in the winter time. <laughs> so, which he calls my sister, her name is Katie, but he calls her Gobi. So, uh, and he's 10 years old now and he still calls her Gobi. That's just her name now. <laughs> and then uh, I'll move over here before I go to the back. There are these, these are supposed to be little picture frames, but they're like a little bench. Uh, I was going to try to see if I could set it up for you, but it has like little piece, and then this is like the arms and the front legs. So there was two of those in there. Uh, I found, uh, I think, one or two of them before, and I saved all the pieces. I want to make my sister, she feeds her squirrels, and they'll come right up to her, and she'll set little peanuts out for them and stuff. So I want to make her one of those squirrel feeder picnic tables. And uh, I think I can use these pieces to do that with. But this piece of scrapbook paper was in there. It does have a little hole up top, but I can still use the rest of the paper for other crafts. And this welcome sign was in there. And you can see it still has some of the like, frosting and paint. There was also some little paints in there that were pretty busted up. And the only thing I see wrong with this is that the top of it here is missing. But I can cut a new piece for that. Don't mind my mess over there. Like I said, we were camping. I haven't had time to put much away. <laughs> and this little squirrel was in there. It was all, like you can see, this is still loose. He's only holding on to that because I stuck one of these pins through his arm and into the mushroom stem. Sorry. Sorry about that. I figured I'd wait a minute to talk. I didn't know if you could hear me over that noise. I'm in my garage with the doors closed, but you can still hear <laughs> Uh, but this cute little squirrel is in there. Uh, he's not really my cup of tea. I'll see if my sister wants him or, or somebody. Somebody will want him. I'll fix him up. I'll glue him back together. And uh, But he has a cute little fluffy tail. It says that he was uh, $29.99. So, and he's got a little mushroom on him. And then this little kid sewing machine was in there. I found one of these before, but it was so covered in paint that there was no way I was going to get all that paint off of there. Um, so I'll see. I have a knee, a couple nieces, but I don't think any of them are into sewing. So I might just uh, stick this out on Marketplace for a couple bucks and see if somebody wants to buy it. And this uh, water bottle is in there. And it doesn't seem like there's anything wrong with it just needs a good washing that's part of the candle on there that the lid stays put and everything else so I'm not sure maybe it was missing the tag who knows and this set of three wood shelves was in there I guess you finish them yourself it still has some of the paint or frosting or whatever was in there on them but it's a nice little set of shelves and they threw out a whole box of these terracotta pots and I think there were four other ones in there that were broken and these ones were on the bottom so I pulled them out and they're perfectly fine they don't they're not cracked chipped or anything and then they had a stack of these in there too these are like the saucers for the smaller pots but I can uh, either use them for other pots or decorate them up and make all sorts of stuff out of them coasters and decorations and stuff so but yeah that was all that I found at Joanne's and then I went to the B.L, or Big Lots, since I just said Joanne's. <laughs> and uh, this chair was in there. Sorry, don't mind my scary guys. Those are the guys I made. Uh, 
the only thing that was wrong with it was the this leg here was bent in so I just brought it home and bent it back out it wasn't even that bad and now it works fine you can see my mess on the ground from digging through that bag <laughs> but yeah a good working chair they didn't cut it or anything I'm glad about that and then this desk was in there another desk which uh, I didn't even think about when I brought that home my father-in-law said we'll have to change it my name to diving for chairs <laughs> and I didn't realize because I have brought home quite a bit of chairs you guys have seen but this desk was in there it's an L shaped like this is one side and this is the other L that comes out and then it has these uh, shelves that go under this end here that's rounded uh, there was one piece in there like this one I can glue those pieces back on but there was one piece in there that was busted bad and I figure I can make a new one, but I did contact the company to see if maybe they would send me one for free. So we'll see how that goes. I'll insert a picture here at the end of this video so you guys can see what the desk looks like. But it's uh, really pretty. So yeah, that's my haul. I know it's I haven't been posting a whole lot. Like I said, the dumpsters haven't been giving me a whole lot. And then we went on vacation, so... I didn't do a whole lot of diving and I couldn't dive while we were gone because my truck was completely full of kids and people and all of our stuff including our bikes <laughs> so uh, and my husband said we're on vacation there's no diving so but yeah not too shabby of a haul uh, a lot of crafting goods I like all these buttons they're good for crafting and the bobbins like I said for sewing so and another little fall piece so yeah thank you guys for watching and uh hit that like button if you liked it and if you haven't already subscribed please do and thank you to everybody who has subscribed uh i appreciate it i'm getting close to 300 and like i said when i hit 500 i will do a mystery box giveaway um i do have some things put up for the mystery box and uh i'll tell you more about that when i get to the giveaway but before I forget this was in there too I was excited for the desk the hardware was in there for the desk so that's a good thing because I never find the hardware <laughs> but uh yeah again thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time bye